Hey everybody, it's Julie with the Better Business Bureau. We're gonna call some scammers today and see what we get. Here we go. Thank you for calling Grocery Deals. My name is David Brown, how may I help you? Hi David, um, I just received a, a call from you guys and so I wanted to, to call back. So congratulations ma'am, you are eligible to get your up to $100 grocery coupons in just $3. So please tell me, are you ready to grab your up to $100 grocery coupons? Yes, that's so exciting. Okay, and ma'am, you can use those coupons on your grocery store for everything. So may I have your first and last name, please? Sure, my name is Judy, J-U-D-Y, Smith, S-M-I-T-H. And this call is being recorded for training and quality purpose. May I have your phone number? Um, sure, it is 414. Receiving up to $100 grocery coupons in just $3 on the postal charge will be $3 for 30 days. So now, ma'am, can you please tell me, I believe you are not a minor, so may I have your complete mailing address where we can send that coupons? Hmm. Well, I prefer to not just give out my mailing address if possible. Is there different way we can do this? Ma'am, we can send that coupons on your physical address. We are sending that coupons on your physical address. That's why I need your mailing address also. You can also provide me a PO box number if you want to comfortable with that. Okay, and this is grocery store coupons, you said? Yeah, grocery store coupons. And are they for a particular grocery store or just any grocery store? Any, any grocery store. You can use on any grocery store for everything, okay? And we have a special offer for you today, only for today. You can also getting up, 50, up to 50% off on your food deliveries and on your restaurants. Wow, okay? well, that's great. Yeah, and that offer is only for today. Only for today, okay. So can I have your address, please? Sure. Okay, and ma'am, can you please tell me for the verification purposes, the card which you have, it's a visa, master or discover, Wait, why do you need a credit card number? Because ma'am, right now, first of all, for the verification purposes, I have to fill your card information ma'am. Just for the verification ma'am. A card which is under your name. It's, a, it's maybe a Visa, Master or Discover. Is there another way to verify it without my credit card? I just don't like giving my credit card information over the phone for like scams and stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Ma'am, no need to worry. This is an encrypted line. Your all information are encrypted from over here. Don't get bothered about that. Well, I just kind of as a matter of personal policy don't like to give my credit card over the phone, you know. Ma'am, I can understand that. But ma'am, as I told you also earlier, this is an encrypted line. And without your card information, we can't be proceed, ma'am. There's no other way to verify my information without giving you my credit card number? No, ma'am, there is no other way. This is the only way. And this is the very short procedure if you cooperate with me. And you are cooperating with me, but, but ma'am, you have to just provide me the card information. And I appreciate your patience, ma'am. Just for the verification, I need the card information. And as I told you, the offer is, you have a two offer and you are getting up to $100 grocery coupons and up to 50% off your food deliveries. I know, and I was so excited by that, but you know, they say not to give your credit card number over the phone and I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Ma'am, that's why this is an encrypted line and your all information are safe and secure over here. And we are not sharing information any third party. 
How do you go about encrypting a cheating. phone line? I've never heard that before. How how do you encrypt the phone line exactly? That is the procedure. This is an encrypted line, and we have a policy from the company. Is there, um, can I access that policy somewhere? Is it online or something? No, ma'am, that is the only way which I have to follow and you have to be with me. Hmm. I don't know. I was really excited about this, but I don't know why you can't just send it to me, why you need my credit card information. I told you, ma'am, for the verification purposes, I have to fill the card information. To verify what exactly? Exactly the purposes. As I told you earlier in this call, there is some charges, shipping and handling charges, as I told you earlier. For that purpose and for the verification purposes, the both purposes need the card information. So you're going to charge my credit card. card you're going to charge my credit card for shipping and handling. Yeah, just for the one time charges of $3, just $3. $3. Well, for your up to $100 grocery coupons and for your up to 50% discount saving online on restaurant, hotel, even food delivery. You know, I, I always told if something was free or if I won something or something like that, it would be, you shouldn't have to pay for that. Even shipping and handling, that should so, be included. And no, sir, ma'am, this is the charges only and the shipping and handling charges. And if you want to continue after that, and if you want to cancel during the 30 day period, you can also cancel that. Are you guys going to charge my credit card anything else besides the $3 for shipping and handling? No, ma'am, I'm not going to be charged you apart from the shipping and handling right now for your concern. And I'm just doing the verification. And as I told you, the charge is only $3. Okay, well, even the $3, I just don't feel comfortable being charged that amount. Okay, it is okay. Uh, if you don't want to come for table to provide me the card information, we can't be proceed. I'm so sorry for that now. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but yeah, I just don't want to give my credit card number. So without your card information, I can't be go further. I'm so sorry for that. Have a nice day. Bye, ma'am. Bye. So this call was originally listed as like a possible insurance scam or some type of insurance credit card rebate scam. But when I called, they just said, congratulations, you won $100 worth of grocery store coupons. And all we need is your information and your credit card information in particular, so we can charge a $3 shipping and handling fee to send you these coupons. Well, obviously I wasn't comfortable doing that. And as you could see in the call, never ever give your credit card information over the phone, especially to somebody you don't know. Um, just avoid that at all costs. Also, if you ever win anything, uh, you can't, first of all, you can't win anything you didn't enter. So I never entered a contest to receive grocery store coupons. So that was a huge red flag right off the bat. Plus, if you do win something, you should never have to pay shipping or shipping and handling charges for them to send that to you. It should be provided cost-free. So a lot of red flags were pointed out in this video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, share. Let us know some scam numbers that we can call next time. Thanks for watching. I'm sorry, you're, you're cutting out. This is the cash app. Cash app I'm what? saying that this is the cash app flip. Oh. Okay, this is the cash app flip. Oh, okay. Are your insurances? Sorry, say that again. I said if all your interest in. Um, yes. Uh, how much you want to invest today? This is investing in Cash App. Yeah. Okay. Um, can you tell me more about it? Gotcha. Yeah, I'm Zach. Uh, we're real estate investors. Do you have any property you're looking to sell in terms of fixed wrappers or rental property? He, he would be calling Ravens to that. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, if we were looking to sell, well, I do own a home, but I don't think I'm looking to sell right now. 
Okay. All right. No problem. Have a good day. Anyway. Thanks. Oh, as I'm doing this, Erica is trying to help me by putting more in the doc. That's great. Okay, this number just doesn't dial for some reason. I'm not sure why. I dialed it the same as all the others, but it won't dial. Yeah, I'll be texting you. Text me information? Me, yeah, that is correct. Okay, you don't want to talk about it? I said I will text you. Okay. He just hung up. 